Here, we will take a look at yet another interesting problem from Lilavati and I have taken it from the 1817 translation of Lilavati by Henry Thomas Colebrook. The statement goes like this. If the bamboo measuring 32 cubits and standing upon level ground be broken in one place by the force of the wind and the tip of it meets the ground at 16 cubits, say mathematician at how many cubits from the root it is broken. So to start with we have been given a bamboo and its length is given as 32 cubits. Then it, it be broken in one place by the force of the wind. So there seems to be uh, a strong wind capable of even breaking this bamboo and because of that the bamboo would start swaying okay, and as a result of it ultimately it breaks and its tip rests on the ground. Now it is obvious that the path of this tip from here to here is going to be a circular arc because the length that was standing upright over here is now inclined. Okay, but nothing else had changed. So the same length plotted from the same point uh, would generate an arc of a circle. Uh, moreover, we have been given uh, the distance. So here it says the tip of it meets the ground at 16 cubits. So let's show that dimension here. So this distance from the root of the bamboo to the tip resting on the ground is 16. Then we need to find the height at, at which this bamboo breaks. So it is saying same mathematician at how many cubits from the root it is broken. So let's get down to solving it. So instead of uh, this graphic, uh, we, we should just be working with lines. Then I'm going to label these points, the important ones that we would need. Say R would stand for uh, the root, B would be the breaking point, T would be the tip in the upright position, while G would be where it touches the ground if we draw a line say TG so this is a construction that we would do and that gives us a triangle now what sort of triangle is this we have already established that these two lengths BT and BG are the two radii of the same circular arc okay in fact it is the same physical body the the broken piece of bamboo that is in these two different positions so naturally these two lengths are going to be equal so this triangle is a isosceles triangle and we are trying to find B which happens to be the vertex of that isosceles triangle. Now if you draw a perpendicular bisector of the base of an isosceles triangle it would go through the vertex. So we want to find the vertex and we know it is somewhere on this upright line. Now we have one more locus of it, one more uh, you know solution of it which says it's going to be on the perpendicular bisector of this line. So let's draw that perpendicular bisector and wherever it would intersect the upright this uh, position that is going to be our point B and then it is just a matter of measuring the distance from the root to this point which turns out to be 12. Now let us see the solution given by Bhaskaracharya. It is in the same translation that I took the problem statement from. So we'll read this uh, rule and we will follow the recipe. This is like uh, a set of instructions. So it says the square of the ground intercepted between the root and the tip. Okay, ground intercepted between the root and the tip. So this is the root R and the tip resting on the ground is G. So distance between that is 16. So let us replace this phrase by 16. Moreover, it says uh, the square of. Okay, so we are going to multiply it by itself, 16 into 16. Then it says is divided by. So we'll show the division sign. Then it's divided by the length of the bamboo, which we know to be 32. And the quotient, so let's take the quotient, so 16 into 16 upon 32 would give us 8. Uh, quotient, it says, added to and subtracted from. So we'll be taking this quotient twice, so it is to be added to some quantity and then again it is to be subtracted from some quantity, so added to and subtracted from the bamboo. So here it is 32 and 32. So it is added to and subtracted from 
the length of the bamboo the moieties of the sum and difference so we are going to take half of this sum and half of this difference what do they represent will be the two portions of it so these are the two pieces okay over here is one piece of the bamboo and here is the other piece of the bamboo after it breaks and what do they represent representing hypotenuse so the first piece is hypotenuse and upright so the second piece happens to be the upright so let's stick it here and now we'll calculate it 32 minus 8 is 24 divided by 2 should give us 12 is our upright or that is the height at which the bamboo breaks and the remaining piece the hypotenuse this inclined uh, length of bamboo now resting on the ground would be 32 plus 8 40 and divided that by 2 would give us 20 so here the inclined piece of bamboo the one that broke so broke off is 20 so this is our answer the hypotenuse is 20 and the upright is 12 as we got in the geometric solution